Greetings friends, I am Supersonic Advance, and today, instead of reviewing a Jack Specific figure, I found something on eBay. The classic Amy Rose figure by Jazzwares. So yeah, I got the classic Amy Rose figure from 2011 for the, from the 20th anniversary of Sonic. Now without further ado, let us begin the review. So this is from 2011, obviously, like I said. Obviously, Jazzwares is renowned as the best Sonic toy line for having as much articulation. So yeah, let's get into that. She can move her head from side to side. Okay, okay, not side to side, but 360 degree angle. She can move her arms slightly. Also, her... Okay, those are really, those are really tight. I am not gonna mess with that. What about you? What about this other? Okay, yeah, she can move her arms from side to side. I'm guessing this is when the whole quality control happened. But yeah, for those who do not know, the Jazzware Sonic line near 2013 when it was about to in 2013 was pegged by the poor, poor, poor lack of, you know, quality control. And since it had a, a poor lack of quality control, some of the joints can feel like a little bit tight or so I wouldn't really recommend that. So yeah, she can move her hands, her elbows, and she can move her torso as well. She can move her feet as well, and they actually painted in panties. Yeah. So yeah, that's in terms of articulation. I do not have the um, classic Amy Rose from, from Jack Specific yet, but I do have, as you can see, this one from Jazzwares. This is a very nice figure. I have, so far, no complaints with it. And yeah, in terms of paint job, it is very nicely painted, in my opinion. Although, one thing that I really do hate about the Jazzwares line, and no offense, is that they don't ever paint in the mouth, that they sculpt it in. Like, at least color in the mouth all the way, so that way it looks nice. Again, that's just my complaint. It's just I wish that they would color in the mouth with some of the Jazzwares Sonic figures. But again, it's not that big of a deal. The figure is three inches, so it's basically just it's like a 2.5 inch, you know, Sonic figure, but you know, an extra 0.5 inches big. So yeah, that's all I can really say about her. There's really nothing else I can say, but a very nice quality figure. I think this was the very first in Classic Amy Rose figure. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I am not sure if it is or not. So yeah, not really much more to say. Thank you all so much for watching, and I shall see you guys next time.